Welcome back to the channel, Ken Folk. Today is Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the truth. Yesterday I was working on the element. The whole time I thought I had the camera going. Now I really don't pay attention too much to the GoPro, but I know a red light indicates that it's recording flashing red light is recording solid red light something's wrong so I turned it on clicked the button didn't really think too much about it red light was on I really didn't look at the little screen in front but it said no SD card so the whole time I thought I was filming I wasn't so today we're gonna start off on the element we're gonna start off on wheels and tires because all the other stuff got done so let me give you guys a real quick uh, update and show you all right, so I put new struts front and back. Um, I just put the struts. I kept the same springs and everything. Now I did do a um, um, what is that? The uh, RHE, the Honda Rescue lift kit and subframe kit. So I don't, I don't. You can't see. You can't see the top of it, but it's a a little uh, what is it called golly uh, spacer spacer up there you can see a little bit of the subframe spacer there let me give you a good shot of the back the back you can probably see it a little bit better yeah you can see it right there the green spacer uh, spacer here 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 so these spacers is like an inch and in something I forgot exactly but it drops it down and then the um, shot the strut spacers give it an extra two so it's almost like a three inch drop so with the jack stands fully jacked up I still have to use the jack on the on it to raise it up high enough to get the wheels on so as you notice that the, the wheels are off because I have them right here let's take a look at it real quick and I gotta clean them uh, so they're like really bad but we do have uh, off-road uh, wheels on it and and those are it I really wanted to get some new reels but uh, budget won't allow it so I just have to stay with these for a while I'll probably go go with another set of 16s but a little bit wider these are 235 70 16s with the stock stock rim and today what I wanted to do is just clean it and I have an idea of what I'm gonna do to this rim I have an idea hmm so my idea is I wanted to rhino lining these wheels uh, so it can get beat up pretty bad so I'm gonna go ahead and get these off and start cleaning them and go from there
uh, wind wheels all cleaned up. Cleaned up pretty good. Give you a quick glance of them. So it's just the back side. Um, I didn't get all the brake dust out of the little pockets there, but I just needed somewhat decent. <laughs> and then the next thing we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna have to, I wonder if I can remove these and put them right back. Cause I'm gonna have to put them right back in the same spot. I'll just mark it on the tire somewhere where it goes and I'm gonna pull that off and then scuff all this down and then shoot it. Simple. Trying to get this with one hand. Sanded down, scuffed up, whatever, whatever. And now I'm gonna use some acetone to clean the surface a little bit more, so we can get the uh, Rhino liner sprayed. But I have to do the uh, taping it all off first. And I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to Rhino line the inner inside part. I want to leave it as is. So I'm gonna have to back tape everything so we'll get a lot of overspray yeah that's gonna be fun
So I got it all uh, taped off, cleaned up, sanded down again, and uh, wax and grease the inside and outside uh, just so to tape a stick. And uh, I used um, I used the other kind that you have to. This one's you have to mix as well, but I used the the big cans with the actual uh, spray nozzle. And it was actually turned out really good. So I'm gonna use this, uh, the uh, can, and see what see what happens. I think this will work good. So uh, let's get started and see what happens. Alrighty, got it all, uh, got a couple of little boo-boos right there. This one turned out pretty good. Uh, I probably want to hit down in those lug nut holes a little bit. This one turned out okay. And this one turned out okay. I just made that one little mistake right there. I wonder if I can touch that up. I wiped it before trying to uh, smooth it out and get it to look okay but if this stuff comes out a little more than what I imagine Seem like it's come out it comes out too too bubbly when I sprayed the regular rhino liner it didn't do that at all I guess maybe because this is on an aerosol can but um, let's pull the tape off before it dries and maybe have to clean up some of the tire a little bit because I'm pretty sure a little bit got on there so let's do that real quick uh, uh, all the tape removed and I'm wondering should I let it dry more and then put those weights on probably so oh, I kind of want to put them on now so I won't forget <laughs> where they go even though I marked it I still want to put them on let's uh let's see what the Honda sign looks like on it if I could get it on there without damaging the paint probably gonna get those jokers back off now because <laughs> they gonna be glued in with the uh, rhino lining And another thing I, sh I wanted to have the white letters on the outside because they're on the inside, but I didn't tell uh, Firestone that when I went and had the tires mounted and they put them on the back side and they was gonna charge me another $65 to take them off, turn them around and rebalance them. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it like this. And the uh, that rhino lining has dried up on there. Let me see if I could get it off. Uh, let's get it. Let's see if I get some of it off. Oh yeah, it's coming off. came off actually pretty easy this is not totally dry feels like it to the touch
It's a good thing it's not a hundred something out here because they would have definitely been dry. Hard as a rock. When I did that Jeep, it dried immediately. No, not immediately. Immediately. So, let's uh, mount them up. So, got the wheels on. Take a look. Oh, yeah. Now, I do have a uh, camber adjustment on the front and rear. And I think it's, I think this is like a, a three inch lift. Yeah, three inch lift. And uh, it sits, it sits way higher than my truck actually. Well, about, about the same. And that's all rattle can rhino lining. And I'm running about uh, 44 PSI on stock 16s and you see how the the back looks nice and gray it turned out really nice I, I really like it I just got to put the weights back on them uh, this one has a number three weight that goes there I don't know I might I might take it back and it's like can you put the weight inside <laughs> and I got a tail lights out for some reason I don't know I got to check that I took the sunroof out just to see how that looks. But that's a good picture right there of it. I am extremely happy. So uh, that will be it for today. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna tackle next is uh, doing paint and body. Uh, just to give you guys an idea so you want to watch it so I'm gonna give you an idea what I want to do um, I'm gonna take all this off I'm gonna paint repaint this right here repaint this black and I'm not sure what I want to do with the gray I don't know if I want to go I think my idea was painting it the color of the car and uh, blacking this out because I want to put a a bull bar on the front and it has a built-in LED light already and then I want to put a roof rack with a couple LED lights up there I don't know if I want to do a couple or do the whole bar I bought some more I bought a couple LEDs um, bog running lights to put down here but since I'm the bull bar that I want it already has the LED light put in it I might go ahead and and do get some fog lights the OEM fog lights to go there and I gotta fix all the all the dents I should have been on that but I had other things I had to do um, I got dents in the back I did replace the struts because uh, it goes up really fast now and it actually stays up when I'm right driving so that's that's pretty cool and I did oh I had a little bit of the Raptor liner left over so I just Hurry up and spray the uh, back bumper. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll holler back at you.